Hello, we're here to today to talk about how to create local user accounts on a Microsoft Windows XP system. So there are basically two ways to create user accounts. Um, one, you can create it using a control panel applet, or two, you can launch the uh, computer management uh, console. Let's start by using the control panel applet. Um, launch, go ahead and launch the control panel. Once it's open, scroll down to the user accounts. Double click it. Okay, on this screen, you're going to go ahead and pick a task, create a new account, and type a name for the new user account. I'll just use a uh, test user. Click next. Here, you'll need to uh, uh, pick whether you want the account to be a computer administrator or just a regular user account. You'll notice on the screen it says limited, but um, basically, when you create this account, it'll just be a member of the local users uh, group. Let's go ahead and click limited. Create account. Now, once the account is created, it's listed in, on the screen, user accounts. You'll notice that it's there's the name of the user account, test user, and it is a limited uh, account. We can make some modifications to this account um, by choosing other tasks. For instance, we can say change an account. We'll pick the test user account. Here you can have the opportunity to change the name. Uh, create a password for the account. At this moment, this account has a blank password, which is uh, not recommended. You can change the picture. Windows XP allows you to choose different pictures for the account, which show up on the Start menu when you log in. You can change the account type. For instance, um, change it from a limited account to a computer minister account, or you can go ahead and delete the account. Let's go ahead and go back. You'll notice that at this moment, there are four accounts defined in this computer. We have the built-in administrator account, which was uh, created when the XP system was installed. Um, you have this limited account, which we just created. The guest account, which was also a default account created when the system was installed. And uh, I had created previously a, a computer administrator account, which is also password protected. The other way to create uh, user accounts is by using the computer management console. So let's go ahead and close this uh, user accounts applet. To launch the computer management console, go ahead and um, right click my computer, click manage. Computer management console will open up. Um, the window you're looking at is called an, um, Microsoft Management Console or MMC. The computer management console has um, several tools you can use to manage your computer. You have system tools, storage, and service and application tools. You can expand each section by clicking the plus sign or collapsing by uh, clicking that as well. So to create an account under System Tools, we have Local Users and Groups. Go to go ahead and um, expand that. And you have the ability to either create users or create groups. Um, so since we're going to create a new user account, we're going to click on the Users folder. And you'll notice uh, all the accounts that are uh, created on the system are listed here. Uh, the only two that didn't show up in the control panel was the help assistant and the support account, which were uh, both uh, also created when the system was um, installed. So to create a new user account, go ahead and right-click uh, the users folder and click new user. So we're going to give this a uh, username. I'll say test user 2. And this test user could be, for instance, uh, John Smith. And um, this is a student. We can assign it a password at this time. Please note that if your computer uh, system has a password policy in place, uh, you'll need to um, meet the uh, requirements of the password policy. If you want the new user to change his password at next logon, for instance, if you're creating this account for someone else, you can set this check mark. Otherwise, you can you have other options. For instance, um, if you want to manage this account in a way where you don't allow the user to change their password. You can click on this box. You'll notice that these two boxes are mutually exclusive. If you also, again, we, we were talking earlier about a password policy. Um, one of the attributes of the password policy could be to require the user to change the password every certain amount of days. If we click on this checkbox, um, the password will never expire. Therefore, uh, the user will never have to uh, change the password. Additionally, we can create an account and um, set it to disabled by default. So the account can be, in essence, pre-staged, uh, used at a later time. 
Let's go ahead and just hit create. At this time we can create other accounts or if we're done creating our accounts we can hit close. So you notice the test user account is listed here now. This, this is the uh, user account we just created. So that concludes our tutorial on how to create user accounts on an XP system.